We have been, I was very surprised to know that it started in 2010 because we were partners since 2009 August. They will promote us more or whatever, they'll promote the partners a little more than they used to. But for us, YouTube works because of the technology, the fact that they have assembled such a large group of people on the platform, which is such an engaged community. And the fact that they are always at the cutting edge of technology, like we could never have been an HD show if you were not on YouTube. Who else will allow you to broadcast HD at that time? YouTube was already HD in 2009. So in the same way mobile, you don't have to make a separate app for mobile if you are on YouTube because M.YouTube is already a very powerful way to reach the mobile community. Our mobile growth is 20% month on month just because we have not done anything for mobile on separately. It's YouTube what automatically plays out to mobile. So we see those things as important. Yes, the monetization is there. Whenever we can get uh, more people to watch on YouTube or on any other platform, we'll be able to monetize it very well. They're very fair. They give you good percentage compared to say a telecom guy gives you on mobile, which is very unfair. And we've never been partners of any telecom company so far because their deals are really, really bad. They, they don't treat content makers unequal footing. Whereas YouTube does, and YouTube is bigger than most mobile companies. So, and they don't treat content makers like that, which is a great thing. So I, I like all that about the partner program. I do believe that what where, where YouTube can really help, but I guess it's not their business philosophy because they don't really advertise, uh, even though they make a lot of money from advertising. It, content, good content, particularly, exclusive premium content like Jain, which is expensive to make which uh, has a different level, say, compared to NRC Rank. So we need to have more segregation for that. So they have done that for us in the sense that there's something called YouTube shows in which nonsense is not allowed to be put. You know, you, you, they'll give you access to YouTube shows when you have like a show, which is long form, which has got some exclusivity, some standard. So we are now in the YouTube shows side also. So I guess they'll do something about YouTube shows after a point in which we'll be part of that. That's nice, segregation, so that people, the audience knows that this is fantastic and this is not so, this is okay, right? right? That segregation on YouTube is important, filtering. And then those partners need to be promoted in a different way, need to be backed up by advertising because of those 23 million people could possibly watch something like Jain, then they're watching now because this word of mouth thing can only reach this much. It will really work if they were to showcase that to all the 23 million people. If in one day everybody, in all those 23 million people came to know about Jain, I believe from, if we do, we have done 10 million views of our show, we would do maybe 2 million in a day. That kind of showcasing needs to happen, which I think will happen now. Because now the partner program is rolled out here, this is, that's the next step, it has to got to happen. We are also working towards doing that, we are working on our own promotional schemes, but this is very important, that this will really work. We spend 3 lakh rupees making the show per episode and if you consider the ESOPs, because everybody on Jahind has ESOPs, which means the money that they are sacrificing to make it, because if you were to make it on TV, 6 lakh was the portion budget for it, 1 lakh was our profit, 5 lakh was the cost of making the show. If we were doing it on TV and we were paying people on television standards, but we still save in very many ways, of course, and we don't charge our own cost to it. So the creator's cost, the director's cost is not there. If you were to put all costs together, it is it's still a 5 lakh rupee show. But hard cash, we spent 3 lakhs. And uh, if you take the ESOPs, it already crosses 4 lakhs. So overall, it is about the same. It's, it's, it's 5 lakh rupees an episode. It's an expensive thing. It's HD. It's, it's, it's not easy to produce. We have had lots of advertising at one stage. Even now, we are inundated with offers to advertise on the show. Not really any sponsor. I mean. If you do 500,000 500, viewers, regular viewers, okay, who generate all these millions of views because each episode has four segments and stuff like that. So, and eight episodes in a month. So, eight into five lakhs itself is about four million views. So, and 24 months we've been there, 96 million views. It's not a big deal because we need two to four million views per episode. So, there are two episodes a week, which means about five million views a week. That is when sponsors will really be able to but get the money's worth. On television, to recover 6 lakhs, they need a viewership of 7 million. Advertiser has got the same window, right? Why will he not advertise on TV and come to internet when you cannot match the number? See, in the end, for the advertiser, he has to get his money's worth. So internet advertising, though, is very cheap and we don't make any money for it. It's very expensive for the advertiser. It doesn't reach enough people. So that that's a very important thing. For 1 million views, which come across in 7 days, is different from 1 million views in 1 day. 
the advertiser needs it clustered there is no internet advertiser who wants to give you huge big sponsorship deals without clustering it will not happen it is very clear you have to have in one time and place so many views they are not concerned with if you deliver it in 6 months 2 million views they are not worth the same as 2 million views in a day and on one 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 video if it across 10 videos again it doesn't matter it has to be on one video so many views in that particular time then they can plan their media spend then they know this is worth spending money on because as i said is four paisa see they they are stuck with that four paisa thing that to reach one guy with a video ad of 10 seconds how will you deliver him four paisa if i have 1 million views four paise ke hisab se kitna paisa milega mere ko in a day what will i get so it doesn't work and 1 million views kahan mil rahe hai mere ko kuch 4 million views mahine mein mil rahe can i recover my 3 lakh rupees production cost i cannot so i'll rather not advertise today because it will irritate my viewers also it is an incentive for my viewer to watch jain than not watch tv because there are no ads let me get to 2 million 3 million i am losing money yes i am losing money today same twitter is also losing money it cannot be that you have upload 48 hours of video so humongous cost to youtube they supporting it on the belief that tomorrow is tomorrow's medium so we have to have the same attitude everything on the internet is like that it's it's always has to look to the future it can't look today now three month we have to make money it can't be like that we have to have parity with television we got parity with television in awards categories uh, so that nobody treats us like internet anymore in the same way viewers viewership numbers also compare the internet viewership is uh, internet uh, audience is 100 million television is 132 million so and out of that only about 32 30 40 million people are hindi gc so if you take only the hindi gc is only 32% of the internet audience why can't you get that audience in internet only because of promotion the day you promote there's a landmark thing that happened yesterday he was a anchor on fox tv in us okay uh, glen beck he just quit fox yesterday he went up on the internet on day 1 he had 250000 viewers paying 5 dollars each so he's going to now make 20 million dollars from the same show which on fox he was making only 3 million dollars so this is now gone ahead of tv same guy same show this makes a case for people to even stop giving the shows to broadcasters and bring it to the internet directly promote it themselves on on the scale this is the other matrix that that immediately made me introduce this matrix and you got to ask this question when you meet television guys that internet people have posed this to you what is the cost of acquisition per viewer of star plus how much money does star plus which is the number one channel in india how much money does star plus spend to acquire a single viewer and how much money does jahin spend in acquiring a single viewer my cost is low his cost is too high which means i am already profitable it's another matrix it's another metric so so the day i spend like him then i will have 50 times more viewers than him because his content is shit he cannot he cannot get anybody to watch that content if he does not advertise it very highly we will match them and we will show them where they belong the first time a venture like this has come which is seeking parity with television on the internet so most of internet television ventures were about collecting a lot of video like youtube me too like youtubes that's a different like not in key tv and all those things nobody tried to set up a channel based on internet so we have to we are inventing the matrix by which we are convincing people we have to show them that this is the future they, they have to be very sure they can't just put their money into something just like that so because all the money will be used for promotion not for making content right so this is a very they have to be comfortable with that and i don't mind spending their time and making them comfortable so we traveling around the world we're teaching people about the new thing and we're getting helped every day by good news coming everywhere good news is coming from like samsung has announced it will not make any tvs anymore without internet yeah. and samsung wants to embed content on the tv now that's fantastic have you ever heard of that a television company wanting to embed content pre embed content into a television set so when you buy the con tv and you switch it on you'll actually even without a connection you can still watch programs on it it's a never happened before you know what it does for lots of people in india who do not even want to have a cable connection they probably get one years content free from samsung you're watching it without paying any money right so this kind of things you could not imagine before today it can happen and who has content i have content no other producer has any content i'm sitting on two, 200 plus episodes of content then we're going pay per view we will also go pay per view on dth 
nobody can stop us from doing all this because it's our content. We'll do whatever we want with it. We are going getting syndicated in Canada. We have an offer to syndic for syndication in Canada. We're going to have promos of our show on TV very soon. So there are many things that will happen.